make crawling colors. We're going to show you this cool color experiment so you can play too. All you need to start with are five glasses and some water. First, pour some water into three of the glasses. You want them to be in a pattern. Water, empty, water, empty, water. This one, this one, and this one. The glasses need to be the same size and clear so you can see the rainbow. Then you're going to add your color. If you want to make a rainbow, make your first one red. Make the middle one yellow. And you make the last glass blue. These are three parts of the rainbow. I added about three drops in it. And now you're going to mix it with a spoon. Then you're going to add your paper towels. Start with half a piece. Fold it or roll it. It should look like this. Then cut it in half. Then put the paper towel into the red water and bend the dry end into the empty glass. So then you add more paper towels to every cup. The colored water is going to crawl into the empty glass through the paper towel. The yellow is going to mix with the red. It's going to make orange. And the blue is going to mix with the yellow, and that's going to make green. It's going to take a long time, so you have to have a lot of patience. Mm. While we're waiting, do the wave. <laughs> Jumping jacks. One, two. two. Think big thoughts. Hmm. Hmm. Rock, paper, scissors, and shoot. After you've played some fun games, check on your rainbow. Wow. The longer you wait, the more colored water will travel over. I can't believe they crawl over into the empty glass. The paper towel is kind of like a bridge because the water goes over the bridge into the empty cup to make really cool colors. And that's how you make crawling colors. How to make raisins dance. Dancing raisins! Dancing with the raisins! Dancing with the raisins! We're going to show you how to make dancing raisins so you can play too. This is what you need to make dancing raisins. You need any type of clear fizzy drink, a glass, and you need raisins. First you're going to open the bottle and you're going to put it halfway into the glass. Any liquid that's bubbly is called carbonated. Carbonated means that a certain type of gas was pushed into the liquid. As the gas comes out, it makes bubbles that float up to the top. After that, you take your two smallest raisins that you can find, and you can drop them into your fizzy drink. The bubbles attach themselves to the raisins and float it up to the surface. When the bubbles pop, the raisins sink back down to the bottom. And they're going up and down. And they're floating at the surface and I'm waiting for them to pop. <laughs> I made background so my raisins can dance on the stage. Rockets. Or you can dance like a raisin. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Catch the bubbles. How to make frozen yogurt bites. I love to make my own recipes. And today we're making frozen yogurt bites. We're going to show you how to make them so you can play too. First you need plain yogurt. Let's put a little bit of yogurt into our bowls. You can use something to sweeten it like honey or jam. Now let's mix the sweeteners in. The honey stirs in really fast. Mine's changing color with the jam. And then you add fruit, like blueberries or strawberries. I'm putting in strawberries. Me too. You can add nuts for something crunchy, like pistachios or almonds. Mmm, I love almonds. It's going to make it really crunchy. Once your yogurt is mixed, you're ready to put it in the ice cube tray. You have to make sure you do it really slowly so it fits in. I'm going to give it a little taste. Mmm, tastes so good. I bet it'll taste even better when it's frozen. The cool thing is, if you make a little bit at a time, you can make a different recipe to fill up your tray. New bowls for the new recipe. 
We're starting with our yogurt again. Then we're going to put in our sweeteners. I'm using strawberry jam for this one. My bowl's turning pink. This time I'm going to put in some blueberries. Wow, this one's going to be really full of stuff. I'm cutting my blueberries so it will mix in. Now I'm putting in pistachios and almonds. Once your tray is filled up, you're ready to put it in the freezer. The best thing to do is let it freeze overnight. So, good night. Good, good morning. morning. Let's try our frozen yogurt. These are the ones we made earlier, frozen and ready to eat. I'm going to choose this one because this one looks like it has honey. I think the recipe is super cool because you can make frozen yogurt bites any way you want. Mine has jam, strawberries, and pistachios. I think this has honey, strawberries, and pistachios. Mmm, this tastes really good. Mm, that was super yummy. And, and that's, that's how you make frozen yogurt bites. How to make a fairy fruit wand. We made fairy fruit wands. I can grant you any wish you want. I wish I had fairy wings. Zing! Wow, I love my wings. Now I wish for a crown. Shabing! Wow, I love my crown. We're gonna show you how to make fairy fruit wands so you can play too. First, you need fresh fruit and skewers. We have prepared some strawberries, grapes, and watermelon, but you can choose any fruit you like. Be careful because the skewers are sharp on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the fruits and I'm going to poke it and hold the fruit and then slide it down. Just like this. Make sure you leave a bit of room so you can hold it at the end. My pattern is going to be a green grape then a red grape, and then a strawberry. Mine is going to be a strawberry, a red grape, and then a green grape. What wishes would you want to grant? I would grant wishes for my family and friends and to make the world a better place. And for me to get a new puppy. <laughs> I would wish for me to have some magical power, like be invisible or something. Make sure you have a bit of room at the end so you can put your star watermelon on. Take your watermelon and take your cookie cutter and smudge it in. You can ask an adult to help you. Then poke out your shape. And when you're done, it should look like there's a star in the watermelon. Then take your watermelon star and place it at the end. Add it on top. Now it's time for the ribbon. Take a few cut up pieces of ribbon and then just tie it to the bottom of your stick. your fairy fruit wand. I wish you have invisible powers. I wish you had laser eyes. I wish you could fly. I wish you could swim really fast. I wish you could make it summer when it's winter. I wish you had the power to change color. I wish you could make a fairy fruit wand. I wish you. <laughs> <laughs> make paint you can eat. We made this cool art. And the best part about it is you can eat it. Mm. Mm. We're going to show you how to make it so you can play too. Here's how you make paint you can eat. First you put some yogurt in the bowl. You start with plain white yogurt. The yogurt's going to be your paint. Then you add flavored gelatin the flavored gelatin is going to make the yogurt colorful. Start by putting a little bit. 
and then stir it. I'm making green paint. And I'm making orange. Different flavors make different colors. To make the color darker, add more. When you swirl it, it looks like it's a big tornado. And when the gelatin and yogurt are mixed together, you're ready to paint. You can use your spoon like a paintbrush. Get a plate and then start making your picture. I want to use red. I'm making a blue line. I want to use orange now. You kind of have to pour it out of your spoon a little. And then you can smear it around. Mmm, lemon smells good. I'm making a rainbow. Me too. I'm going to use two lemons to make eyes. Now, I'm going to use red to make eyelashes. I'm done with my rainbow. It yeah. looks really pretty. Thank you. My favorite fruit is blueberries because they're very yummy and sweet. <laughs> now I'm going to add two blueberries for my eyeballs. My favorite fruit is a strawberry. That's why I use them for eyes. I'm using two oranges for cheeks. There's my face. All done. I'm adding more paint on top of my paint. And if you don't want the paint somewhere, just dip it on your finger and eat it. Done. How to make your own snow. Over the river and through the woods to Grandma's house we go. We made our own snow. We're going to show you how to make it so you can play too. To make your own snow, you'll need some baking soda. You need two cups, and then you just pour it into a pan or a bowl. Then, you can add some glitter to make sparkly snow. And just sprinkle the glitter all over. And next, you'll need some hair conditioner. You're gonna wanna squirt it in. It's so goopy. Next, you're going to want to mix it. It smells very good because we added the conditioner. The conditioner makes the baking soda stick together. It's also sticking to the spoon. It might be better to just use our hands. Time to get messy. I'm ready. It's so snowy. It's so squishy. It's snowing. If you want it stickier and clumpier, add more hair conditioner. Or you can use it nice and fine like a flurry snow. I'm going to add more hair conditioner to make it clumpier. And I'm going to try to make a snowman. That's a good idea. You might want to save some of the snow as flurry snow. It's so squishy. Ooh, and it's cold too. The snow feels cold because the conditioner is kind of wet. I have the bottom of our snowman. Let's make more. There's the middle. There's the top. You can also add some toys to play in your snow. This car is having a hard time driving because the streets are covered in snow. I made a snowy mountain. Let's make the tallest one yet. It's snowing on the snowy mountain. And that's it. That's how you make homemade snow. How to make space sand. Landing in three, two, one. We love playing astronaut. And we're going to show you how to make space sand so you can play too. The first thing you need to make space sand is a big bowl. The first ingredient you need is three cups of flour. I'm going to dump the flour in the bowl. The next thing you need is gelatin, one cup of gelatin. I'm dumping the gelatin in. The gelatin color is red, and that will make your sand red too. And now we're gonna mix it together. The red and the white are coming together. It's starting to look sandy. It's starting to turn into a light red, almost like a light pink. There are little pieces of red and white in it. Next, I'm gonna add some glitter. You can put as much glitter as you want. Now we're gonna make a hole in the middle to put baby oil in. Feels very soft. 
Now we're gonna add a half a cup of baby oil. This is just regular baby oil. Now I'm gonna put the baby oil into the hole. Whoa. And then you mix. <laughs> it feels so mushy. It feels very hard, but it feels also a little bit wet. You could just squeeze it. You could squeeze it like actual sand. Just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It's really cool because you can mold it into any shape you want. Or just play with it. Rover, coming through the red sand. Look, Astronaut One, I found a volcano. Astronaut One, we have discovered red sand. Landing in three, two, one. And that's, that's how, how you make space sand. How to make an ocean in a bag. Look at my sparkly ocean. We're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. First, you need to squeeze some hair gel into a bowl. It's really gooey. Yep, very gooey. Then you wanna drop some blue food coloring into the gel. Just put in a few drops. You can always add more if you want to. Then you mix the food coloring and the hair gel together. Once your water is mixed, you're ready to make the rest of your ocean. First, you'll need a plastic bag. I'm adding some rice to make it look like sand. Now I'm gonna add some sea animals. Me too. I'm gonna add a little pink crab. I'm adding a turtle and a cute little fishy. These are just little plastic toys. You can use plastic grass for seaweed or kelp. I'm gonna use some cray paper for seaweed. Me too. If you want to, you can scrunch some of your paper up to make it look more like seaweed. I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter. I like sparkly water. Important tip, do not put anything sharp in the bag. If you do, it will pop the bag. Once you have everything inside, then it's time to put your water in. Can you hold it back for me? Sure. Ooh, it's goopy. Can you hold my bag open? Sure. Yeah, there we go. That's what I need. And then you have to seal the bag. Here we go. And then you mush stuff around. Oh, it feels like cool water on a hot day. It feels so mushy and fun. You just keep squishing to mix everything together. I put in a manta ray, some seaweed, and a dolphin. It really looks like the ocean, just much more sparkly and glittery. Swim, Mr. Turtle, swim. And, and that's, that's how you make an ocean in a bag. Shake a shake a shake up! Boom, boom, boom! We made shakers. Let us show you how to make one so you can play too. First, you need some recycled bottles. You can use glass or plastic, but make sure to clean out the bottle and it's all dry. Then you could fill your bottle with whatever you want. Different stuff will make different sounds. We have some beans, beads, rice, and pasta. Now I'm not gonna put too much because I don't want such a heavy sound. Let's try this out. Ooh, that's nice. I like that a lot. I'm gonna add some little beads so it doesn't make a, a boom, a boom, a boom. <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this nice pretty tinsel in the inside of my bottle. Do you think the tinsel will change the sound? Maybe. I'm going to add some blue and silver ribbon. Big tip, don't fill it up all the way to the top because you want room for the things inside to shake. And then you put your cap on and seal it tight. And then you can decorate the outside too. I'm gonna to use some stars and smiley faces just to make it bling. 
I'm gonna use some of these star stickers. Yeah, these stickers are pretty. You can decorate it really any way you want. You can use ribbon, you could use duct tape. And that's how you make a shaker! How to make a water xylophone. Let me show you how to make one so you can play too. First you need water and glasses. It's important that all the glasses are the same size. So let's try it out. The less water there is in the cup, the higher the note is. The more water there is in the cup, the lower the note is. Now this is going to be the lowest note because it has the most water. Let's try the difference between this cup and this cup. You see the difference? Now let's try it between this one and this one. You see the difference there? Now let's try it between this one and this one. Let's add them all together. So then you keep experimenting until you have the sounds you want. Now I'm going to use some food coloring just to make it colorful. The color doesn't really affect the sound, but it just makes it pretty. My favorite color is either blue or pink. Now let's test it out. That's how you make a water xylophone. And now, for the first ever water xylophone concert in the world, presenting Dun, dun, dun. Abby! Hello, hello everyone. Thank you.